Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure PostgreSQL 17 on Debian operating system. Open any web browser, then go to PostgreSQL official website that is PostgreSQL.org. Hit enter. See here, at the time of making this video, PostgreSQL 17 is released. So click on download, then select operating system as Linux. Then click on Debian. See here, supported versions are Bookworm 12, 11, 10. Okay, you can install on any one of these Debian versions. And these are the commands to install. Okay, so first install, execute these commands one by one. Copy it, open terminal. Paste it, hit enter, provide the password of sudo user. All are already installed. Then install this pgdg, copy it, paste it, hit enter, done. Now import this sign, sign in key, paste it, hit enter, it is done. Now create the repository configuration file. Copy it up to and copy this one, paste it, hit enter, control L. Now update the packages sudo apt update, hit enter. All are up to date. Now we have to install the PostgreSQL latest version. Explain sudo apt install PostgreSQL. If you don't give the version number, it will install the latest version. Suppose if you want to install 16, you have to give PostgreSQL-16. If you want to install 15, you have to give the 15. If you want to install 14, you have to give 14. So if you don't give any version number, it will install the latest version available. See, it is also saying the, it is also saying the same. Okay. So hit enter. See, it is going to install PostgreSQL-17. Type A for confirmation and hit enter. We have successfully installed PostgreSQL. Let us verify the status of PostgreSQL service. sudo systemctl status PostgreSQL hit enter. See PostgreSQL service is running and it is enabled. Q to quit, control to clear screen. Let us connect to PostgreSQL server. sudo su hyphen PostgreS psql. See this is the PostgreSQL client version, not the PostgreSQL server version. So verify. Select version. See, we have installed PostgreSQL 17 and this is the Debian 12. Okay, Q to quit. Control L to clear screen. After connecting to PostgreSQL server on Debian machine, we have to set the password for the PostgreSQL user that is super user. Let us verify list of the users. We, we will have only one user that is PostgreSQL. Hit enter. See, we have only one user that is super user. Let me change the color of the text. Use the command alter user username is postgres with password provide the new password put semicolon at the end of the statement see we have successfully set the password for the postgres user now let verify the list of the databases backslash l see we have only these three databases comes with installation of postgres equals server you can also get the Databases information by running the command by running the self statement against the page underscore database. See, we have these three databases. Let us create a database. Create database hard to schools. Backslash L. See here we have the new database that we have created. If you want to see the more information about this database, give the slash L. See. This is the database name and this is the owner name. These are the settings and this is the size of the database. Q to quit. Now connect to this database and create a table. So to connect to database, you have to use the 
backslash CR, connect both are same, then provide the database R2 schools. You are now connected to database R2 schools as user Postgres. Now create a table, create table student snm int primary key snm where care. We have created a table. Let us verify list of tables backslash t. See whatever the comments that starts with backslash t are called as meta comments. Let us insert some data into this table. Before that, verify the data. Select star from table name. Table name is student. See, we don't have any data. Okay. Insert into student values 100. Then give this S name. Insert one more row. Insert one more row. This time I am not going to change the S number. It will throw error. See, we have defined the column name as primary key. Whenever a column is defined with primary key, it won't allow duplicate values. So, we have to give the unique value for the primary key columns. Now, it will not throw error. Now, verify the data. Select star from student. See, we have these three rows. Also notice here, whenever you give star means it will retrieve all column values of the table. But if you want specific column values, suppose S name, S name from table name. Still, if you want only the particular column, single column value, then give the select S name from student. Okay, see we have these three rows. Now we will see how to create a user. Create user James with password We have created user let us verify see we have these two users one is the super user that is postgres and this is the user which we have created let us exit and try to connect with this user hyphen h localhost hyphen u james hyphen d provide the existing database name that is postgres r r to schools then provide the password of this james user now switch to r to schools now try to create a table with this user create table test one test snm int to throw error because that user doesn't have permission see permission denied for the schema public so user doesn't have the privileges on this database so there is a video in the video description how to grant privileges to a user in postgresql database you can go through it and you can grant the privileges to exit you have to use the backslash q and enter until now we have performed by using psql shell but we can also connect to postgresql from the pg admin if you want to install pg admin on debian operating systems there is a link in the video description you can go through it and install it i have already installed search for pg admin see here i have the pg admin click on add new server or right click on servers then register then select the server both are same then provide the name i am giving pg17 then in connection tab you have to provide host name see postgresql is installed on this pc you can give ip of this machine or you can give the host name of this machine see this is the host name you can get the host name by typing host name see this is the host name okay or simply you can give the local host if it is installed on locally then port number 5432 maintenance database postgres username also postgres then provide the password of this user click on save expand databases see here we have the database after schools in this database we have the student table okay we can perform the same actions whatever we have performed there right click on any database query tool 
then run the chorus here select star from student put semicolon it is not mandatory then click on this execute button see we got the same output if we go to logins see here we have the james user okay this is the other way connect to psql and i will show you two more important files that those are so so config underscore file this is the server level configuration file which, which contains postgresql server configuration information and another one is so hva underscore file this contains authentication rules for the postgresql server okay if you to quit that is slash q now we will see how to stop start and restart postgresql server sudo system ctl status postgresql hit enter see postgresql is running and it is enabled let us stop it control l sudo system ctl stop postgresql hit enter now verify the status just use the up arrow and see here postgresql services inactive or dead even if you try to connect to postgresql you will get the error sudo su hyphen postgres psql see we are unable to connect is the server running locally accepting connection on the socket also if you go to the here if you try to right click and refresh see connection to server has been lost okay so start it again by running we cannot start with postgres user exit then start it sudo system ctl start postgres equal Verify. See, PostgreSQL services started two seconds ago. If you right click and refresh, see, we are able to connect. Restart the PostgreSQL service. sudo systemctl restart PostgreSQL. Hit enter. Verify the status. See, we have restarted one second ago. So, in this video, we have seen how to install and configure PostgreSQL 17 on Debian operating systems. For more PostgreSQL or Linux videos, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.